Today we're going to transition from talking about ancient Egyptians to actually talking about a different culture, the ancient Greeks. So we're going to start out with the geometric period, which was about circa 900, started about circa 900 BCE. Um, this is when local aristocracies began to rise, city-states started to become a thing instead of just collections of peoples who were living in cities without a real central government. Um, so for once, like the nomadic lifestyle started to settle down and there were permanent central urban areas. So one of the best examples of the, geom the art of the geometric period was in uh, their pottery. Um, it's interesting because their earlier ancestors had more complex art as they showed narratives and stories such um, such as uh, Theseus and the Minotaur and stuff on on their art but um, ancient Greeks actually forgot about this style and started to go back to simpler things such as ge geometric shapes as clear from the name geometric era so geometric era pottery so we s one of the examples of this is that uh, there were many amphoras, which are pots with a narrow neck and a wider body. They were found inside of graves and they would be decorated with simple shapes such as rhombuses, lines, diamonds, and uh, QB squares. They'd all just be arranged uh, in repetitive patterns, um, especially around the neck, the top of the neck and right around the brim. Larger patterns would generally be around the middle. The general use of amphoras was for storing olive oil and wine and the narrow tip, uh, the narrow tip existed so that there could be a stopper inside of it. Um, however, these fancy decorated amphoras were used as funerary uh, presents for uh, loved ones who had recently passed away. Um, because the, uh, having a very nice amphora was not very practical for everyday use. And it was a sign of status to be able to afford and commission a special amphora for your loved one. Um, it's interesting because amphoras, when, um, when archaeologists found amphoras inside of a grave, they automatically knew that it was the grave of a woman because what the Greeks of the geometric period did was that they buried women with amphoras and men with um, wider brimmed pottery items that resembled punch bowls. This was because punch bowls were used for parties, for drinking wine, and these were not, the, uh, parties were not situations where a proper ancient Greek woman would be found because there were courtesans and they'd be drinking watered down wine all night. Fun fact, ancient Greeks apparently didn't like drinking straight wine because that was uncivilized, it was for drunks. Um, they would actually water down their wine so that they could party all night without getting drunk and making a fool of themselves. Um, so what's interesting is that in the later geometric period, we actually start seeing a return to narrative art. Some historians hypothesize uh, they found the art of their ancestors, such as the Mycenaeans or the Minoans, and, uh, began to imitate them. So among these geometric figures, uh, geometric shapes on the amphoras and on the punch bowls and generally geometric pottery, we began to see narrative sequences, such as funerary scenes, which were common because most of the pottery that we found were buried inside of tombs as funerary presents. Um, we could tell that their funeral scenes because they'd be depicted on a pyre and all of the people around them would have their hands in their hair as if they were ripping it out because this is how the ancient Greeks always depicted mourning and grief, which is interesting. Um, they also depicted the, we could tell who the dead person is because of very long fingernails and hair um, because the Greeks believed that these kept on growing after death. This while this didn't actually happen, it appeared to because after death, because of bad preservation methods, the skin, the skin would recede and the hair and fingernails would appear longer. 
We could also tell the gender of figures inside of Greek uh, geometric period Greek art because women would be wearing dresses and men would be uh, not. Uh, their silhouetted figures would appear to be wearing no clothes at all. So that's it for the geometric period.